Hi everyone, this is Kiri with another layout for Bramble Fox and I am using the fabulous May Fox Box um, and this is the first layer I've made with it. Um, I have a number of the perspectives. There's the fave photo that you can see up there on the left um, in a lovely pale blue and I'm going to use that for my title and then there's three uh, lovely etched camera perspectives as well in the matching pale blue that I'm also going to use and I've got the paper snips number 25 um, and I'm going to add some of those to the layer as well. Um, okay so I've called out Pinkfresh Studio Flower Market. Um, I thought it would it would work really well with the colours of the blue perspectives. Um, so I've just taken this flower um, or floral uh, pattern paper and I've gutted the centre and I'm adding my white cardstock um, over the top of that. I've obviously distressed the edges of the white cardstock um, as I always would just to add that extra bit of texture. I'm just pulling off the little bits of um, glue that was left over from the tape uh, at the back there so it doesn't stick. Um, and then I'm just sort of lifting up the edges, um, pulling a few little corn, uh, torn pieces. And then I've got these two corner pieces from a layer I made previously. Um, I used the sort of centre and I was, I was sort of trying to work out what I was going to do with them. I thought I might use them as corners, but actually I've decided to use them in this sort of I guess diamond type shape and then I'm tucking in some of the floral um, ephemera pieces um, in that sort of centerpiece where, the, where they could join and then I'm going to sort of tuck in my photo and then create my embellishment cluster really along and around the photo. So I'm pulling out some of the matching embellishments that I'm going to layer up. Um, got the a um, lot of the floral pieces, but I've got the little floral frame and some tags, that little sort of um, stamp edged tag at the top as well, the umbrella and um, a little curved uh, phrase piece that says grateful for this memory. And then I've got the paper snips and I'm taking, I've just punched using a one inch punch, the happy days at the bottom. And then I've added one of the epoxy, um, DIY epoxy um, flare stickers over the top of it. And I'll use that and I'll just tuck that into the layout as well. I'm, I've just trimmed the um, phrases from the top of the sheet. And just working out which ones I'm going to use of those. I think I've got um, Take the Shot, um, Living Our Best Life. There is another one on there, but I don't actually use it in the end. And then I've just pulled off this little, um, another one here, and it's called Weekend Adventure, which was perfect for my photo. So just sort of seeing if anything else works. I do look at this black one, actually, and decide whether to use that. When I, It's funny how sometimes seeing things on a video, you look and think, oh, actually, actually, it looks quite good. But I didn't end up using it. Um, I also fussy cut one of the cameras um, from the paper snips. This is the pink one. Um, I really I love adding a camera. But actually, I did sort of pop it on, but I didn't add it at the end um, for the end layout. Okay, so I have now stuck down the two triangle pieces and I've, I've got the flower pieces of ephemera sort of sat there, just sort of working out where they're going. And I'm mounting my photo with one of the striped pattern papers um, from the collection. And I'm going to add that. I'm just adding a little bit of foam tape to the top. I'll keep it flat on the bottom because that's where I'm going to tuck it in. So I'll get that stuck down and then I'll start to get the, um, I can get the floral ephemera stuck down as well. So I'm just, I've sort of curved the edges up of the ephemera and then I'm just adding a little bit of my Nuvo glue to the centre of each. Again, I, I don't stick them anything flat. It usually is just in the centre only I get, so I can get that sort of lift and um, dimension. So just sort of playing around with where things are going to sit. So some I'm tucking in and then some are being are sat on the outside. Now, to be fair, I do cover quite a lot of this anyway with some of the extra bits and pieces, but I really like how it looks and it creates a really nice base. Um, and then what's next? I think I started, yeah, that's right. I'm starting to add in the other elements. So that floral frame, to be honest, I just added a little bit of glue at the bottom and um, then I and just sort of curved the top edge got that 
umbrella. There is a bit of a story why there's an umbrella on here when we're actually sitting there having um, cocktails. This was from my weekend in Paris. I've just come back. So this is literally scrapping it after the weekend. Um, and I was away with, there was eight of us. And we went over to the Version Scrap show in Paris. I'd never been before. And um, I was lucky to join the group. Some of them had. And um, we had a fabulous time. The Version Scrap show was brilliant. And it was really lovely seeing different things. You know, there was a lot of French um, scrapbook uh, manufacturers. And really nice to see you know, a different style because they do have a bit of a different style. There's a lot of white space. They use a lot of stamping and die cuts, etc. So we all came back um, with heavy bags after buying some quite a lot of stash. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with that. So that is a photo from the weekend. Wendy, Vicky and myself went and did a honestly speed sightseeing, sightseeing day around Paris. And we'd stopped here um, in uh, Notre Dame area for a lunchtime break and, of course, an Aperol spritz. Actually, I'm saying that's Notre Dame. No, it wasn't. It was actually in Montmartre. We were up near the Sacre Coeur. And, um, yes, we had cocktails up there. So that was lovely. Um, okay, so what are we doing now? So I'm just really sticking everything down. Um, I've added some things on foam pads. I've stuck the cameras with um, glossy accents. And um, I added a little bit of thread around that top tag, the green tag there. So that was just a little bit of blue embroidery thread. And now I just sort of decided I needed something else. I wasn't quite sure what. Um, and so I pulled out one of my really pretty blue, very sparkly Cambella watercolours. And I'm just adding a little bit under the edge of the um, blue diamond. And I'm um, just, it adds, it's adding a little bit of extra sparkle and detail. And then I do add some extra splatters as well, just around the clusters. But I did do that off camera because I decided that afterwards. So, um, yeah, so just, just adding that little bit of detail, which actually I really like, actually. I haven't, I haven't used this before um, too much before, but it, it actually looks really good. And it just it felt like it just needed something extra. Okay, fave photo, my title. I'm going to get that stuck down um, with glossy accents. And um, and then I'm sort of nearly done, actually. There's not too much left. I do add some journaling to the bottom um, underneath fave photo. I'll rule some lines just at the bottom point on the blue pattern paper. Sorry about my head. It keeps popping into the photo there. And then just going to add some uh, little enamel dots, little clusters of enamel dots to each side and to the top. But I think I'm pretty, I'm almost finished because um, I won't um, make you watch me do this because I do fiddle around deciding which colours and where they're going to go and move them around quite a lot. And there we go. Um, there's the final layout. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching the process. Um, and do pop on over to bramblefox.co.uk to see the fabulous perspectives and um, for more details on how to subscribe to the monthly Foxbox subscription. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.